Topic New Questions and New Ideas The story of the Buddha Siddhartha also known as Gautama was the founder of Buddhism, and was born about 2,500 years ago. At this time, rapid change came into the lives of people. They wanted to find out the true meaning of life. The Buddha was a Kshatriya belonging to the Sakya Guna. At a very young age, he left his home in search of knowledge. He meditated and attained enlightenment under a people tree at Bodhgaya in Bihar, and chose his own path to realization. Picture of Buddha After attaining enlightenment, he spent his entire life traveling on foot and teaching people. He passed away at Kazanara. The Buddha taught that life is full of suffering and unhappiness, because we have thirsts and desires, which can't be fulfilled. If we get what we want, we are not satisfied and want even more. He also thought people should be kind and respect the lives of others, including animals. He believed that the results of our good or bad actions known as karma, affect us in this life and in the next life. Apanishads Apanishads means approaching and sitting near. Are the part of the later dick texts which consists of many ideas, and answers related to life after death, why sacrifices should be performed, and something remains permanent in the universe even after death. Apanishad thinkers especially Brahmins and Rajas described this as the individual soul Atman and the universal soil Brahman. They believed that both the Atman and the Brahman were one. Panini Panini was one of the most famous grammarians, who prepared a grammar for Sanskrit. He arranged the vowels and the consonants in a special order, through which he created formulae like those found in algebra. He used vowels and the consonants, to write down the rules of the language in short formulae. Jainism Vardhamana Mahavir was a Kshatriya prince of the Lichchavis and the most famous thinker of the Jnas. At the age of 30, he left the comforts of his home, and went to live in a forest. For a continuous period of 12 years he led a hard and lonely life and at last he attained enlightenment. He taught a simple doctrine, whosoever wished to know the truth must leave their homes, and must follow the rules of Ahimsa. Mahavira used Prakrit language for his teachings. Picture of Mahavira Followers of Mahavira known as Jnas, had to be absolutely honest and to observe celibacy, lead very simple lives and beg for food. It was very difficult for most men and women to follow the rules, because the rule says that the men had to give up everything, including their clothes. Jainism was mainly supported by traders. Farmers had difficulty in following the rules, because they had to kill insects to protect their crops. The teachings of Mahavira and his followers were written down, and kept safe at a place called Vallabhi in Gujarat. The Sangha The Sangha was an association of, those who left their homes in search of true knowledge. It was started by the Mahavira and the Buddha. Buddhist Sangha rules were written down in a book called the Vinaya Pitaka. Rules say that there were separate branches for men and women. Children had to have the permission of their parents. Slaves from their masters, debtors from their creditors and women had to have their husbands. Permission to join Sangha People who joined the Sangha were known as Bhikas and Bhikanas, because they went out to beg for food, led simple lives and meditated for most of the time. Monasteries The Jna and Buddhist monks and nuns traveled from place to place to teach people. Their supporters built temporary shelters for them to stay, or they lived in natural caves and hilly areas during the rainy season. As time passed away, monks, nuns and their supporters felt the need for permanent shelters and so monasteries were built. These were known as viharas. Nowadays, viharas are made of brick, but in earlier days they were made of wood.
The system of ashramas Brahmins developed the ashramas, which were used for a stage of life, not just to live and meditate. The system of ashramas allowed men to spend some part of their lives differently. Women had to follow the ashramas chosen by their husbands, and were not allowed to study the Vedas. Types of ashramas Four ashramas were recognized, Brahmacharya, Brahman, Kshatriya and Vaishya men were expected to lead simple lives, and study the Vedas during the early years of their life. Grihastha, then they had to marry and live as householders. Vanaprastha, after, they had to live in the forest and meditate. Samyasa, finally, they had to give up everything and become Samyasins, 